Hey there, Naturopaths Nation. Dr. Jessica here with another health tip for you and your family. Today, I'm gonna to talk about the naturopathic hacks of seasonal affective disorder. This time of year, around the winter solstice, when our days are short, many people begin to experience the symptoms of seasonal affective disorder. Researchers believe that during the shortened days, our circadian rhythm, as well as serotonin and melatonin levels can be thrown out of balance by lack of exposure to sunlight. Seasonal affective disorder is often referred to its acronym SAD, and that's a pretty good name for it because its most common symptom is depression. Other symptoms of seasonal affective disorder can include trouble sleeping, weight gain, which comes from craving foods high in carbohydrates, low energy, lack of interest in activities you actually used to enjoy, and finally, difficulty concentrating. If you experience any of these symptoms, don't brush them off as simply a case of the winter blues or a seasonal funk that you have to tough out on your own. I'd like to offer today three tips we use in our practice that'll help you to maintain your mood and energy during the winter months. Number one, go get a blood test for vitamin D. Your vitamin D is known as a sunshine vitamin and is often deficient, especially in the winter months. So many of the patients we encounter and test are in fact low in vitamin D year round. And the limited hours of sun, along with the slathering of sunscreen in the summer, reduce our D levels through the winter months, making us even more vulnerable to depression. In our practice, we generally recommend most patients to take two to 5,000 IUs of vitamin D3 per day from October to March. Number two, boost your serotonin levels. Serotonin, our feel-good neurotransmitter, is made from amino acids, and amino acids come from protein in our diet, and the specific amino acid tryptophan is a direct precursor to serotonin. When serotonin levels are low, we feel depressed, anxious, overwhelmed by seemingly small problems, sensitive to pain, and our cravings for carbohydrates climb. In our practice, we encourage patients to eat foods high in tryptophan, like almonds, eggs, and lean meats. But when food sources just don't seem to be enough, we recommend 5-hydroxytryptophan, as this modified amino acid has essentially nowhere else to go in the body except to increase our ability to naturally make serotonin. Most individuals will be safe to start with 50 to 100 milligrams as the starting dose in the morning and perhaps try up to 100 milligrams twice per day without supervision. Please be aware this specific recommendation is for patients not currently taking antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications. If you are taking either of these medications, set up an appointment so we can guide you through safe amino acid therapy for seasonal affective disorder. It is super gratifying in my practice when we're able to make this suggestion and as soon as four to seven days, patients notice a tremendous change. It's really exciting to help patients that quickly. Moving on to number three, increase your omega-3 fatty acids. Fish oil is an imperative part of your winter supplements. We included it in our foundational four supplemental package because not only does it provide for well-nourished and hydrated skin and healthy joints, but it also acts to prevent and treat winter depression. DHA, one component of fish oil, is especially mood elevating and can even help clean up the brain's cognition and focus. Now, which one of us out there can't benefit from that? An appropriate dose of omega-3s for the winter months is two to 3,000 milligrams divided with meals per day. This dose will help combat seasonal affective disorder. This winter doesn't have to be another season of a time for depression and low energy. Follow these three tips. See what they do for you and your family this winter. Let's work together to combat seasonal affective disorder. Thanks for tuning in today. Wishing you a wonderful winter season. Until next time, be well.